Okay, you guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS and iPhone ringtones. First thing you got to do is go into your iTunes. This works with iTunes 8.2. I tested it. Uh, first, search a song that you like. I want to type in New Divide. Hear it. And hear for the part of the song that you want to uh, make, make the ringtone. I will pick the beginning. First, right click it, get info, and scroll down to options, and put start time, the start time that you want the ringtone to start. I will put it at 0 0.3, and it has to be 30 seconds after. So, 0, prince, colon, you have to put a colon, or it won't work. Colon. 3 3 and click OK and now if I click on the song you'll hear it like this and now I'll right click it again and go to create ACC version right now it's creating it it's done see it's exactly 30 seconds long it has to be 30 seconds or it will not work and now copy it to uh, well, first go to your documents and create a new folder called iPhone ringtones. And I'm going to drag this file, drag new divide, where is it, uh, it's this one. Drag it to your iPhone ringtones, and it should be right here. And this is just on my computer, it doesn't work, like, it doesn't show me, like, the M4A thing, so I have to go on, I'll just show you guys, these properties, it's, a uh, M4A. Okay, once I'm done with that, delete it from your iTunes. Delete. Move to recycle bin. And now go back, cl click back on the song, the normal song. Get info. Go to options. And now change everything back to the way it was. So it's zero point start time. And stop time. Just unclick it. And empty it. Oh wait. And I'll click it and it'll restart. And I'll click OK. And I'll just start from the beginning. Okay, the next step, like, you guys should see my video how to SSH into your iPhone if you guys already know how. SSH into yours right now. It's fine. Log in. Okay, now go. Keep going up to the directories. And now go down to library. And now go down to ringtones. And now just drag the new divide file, the one that's the M4A one, into it. It's copying right now. My internet's kind of slow, so yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay, there you go, it's kind of right. Okay, it's done. And now if you look in the ringtone folder, these are all the default ones. Like the ones, if you want it, you can just delete them, but I'll just keep them. See this one says M4A? You need to change that to R, so click rename. And it should tell you like this. And now just go to... Where the A is, and put an R, and I'll click, and it should, it's right there. I see. Now, you're pretty much done with this step, so if you want to just delete it. Oh, wait, never mind. Do not delete it. Do not delete it. Delete the one over here. Delete. Oh, yeah, okay. Delete. Oh, it's because it's syncing my iPhone right now. Damn. Okay, whatever. Delete the one. Okay, and now, like, go back to your SSH. And now look for the new divide one, the one you just created. And drag it into the ringtones folder. 
and it should pop up right here. Once it's done copying, there you go. And now it's right here. Now this see this is see if it's a R. Click on it. Oh, there you go. It's a R. It's a ringtone file. Okay. Now you can like exit out the SSH. Terminate. Now go back into your iTunes. Click on the ringtones. And now go to your new divide or your song that you just like made into a ringtone. Drag it in. Okay, I'm exiting out of this. Now just play it. See if you like it. Okay. And now go into your your iPhone devices. Go to ringtones and select all ringtones, and then sync it. Yeah, your, your iPhone should be syncing. Okay, it's done. Now go into your iPhone. Go into settings. Now go into sounds and go to ringtone. And you should have your custom ringtones right here. Just click on the one that you just put on your iPhone. Or this is another one I made. Well, I'll pick this one. Click sounds. And pretty much just exit. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped. Peace.